In tonight's Central Florida True Crime Files, a car crash turned murder investigation along a rural Volusia County road. Someone murdered Eric Walker on March 11, 2004. That killer is still out there. Fox 25 anchor Ray Vieta has the details and the heartache. At first, investigators thought Eric Walker died in a car crash. His car was found smashed up against a tree. A closer look uncovered gunshots, but deputies are still looking for the shooter. That Thursday night, that was the last time that I talked with Eric, and he told me, I'll see you in the morning, and I love you. Eric Walker jumped into his grand marquee, headed to see his girlfriend in Deltona. He left his mother's Sanford home on March 11, 2004, and never returned. I got a knock on the door, and so I came to the door. The two gentlemen asked me, was I Alfreda Walker? That following morning, officers arrived at Alfreda Walker's door with grim news. Eric was dead. I just screamed and cried and cried and cried. And at that time, several, you know, my friends had made it here. At first, investigators thought it was a car crash. The car was in a ditch and appeared to have slammed into a pole on Enterprise Osteen Road. A closer look revealed something more sinister. They found a bullet hole in the car, crime scene, and medical examiner came out and saw that he had been shot four times. Right here, this is our cold case room. Volusia County Detective Sean McGuire is now following leads on the case 17 years later. Um, we have roughly 51, and um, right here we got Eric Walker. He's poured over the documents, the interviews, the chain of events. He went to Deltona often. Uh, he had a girlfriend there. He would go the same route from Midway to Deltona. He was worried more like about um, because of his race and stuff getting stopped out there. Walker's mother says only those close to him knew his driving route, including his girlfriend who he was visiting. Eric wouldn't have stopped on a dog road like that if he didn't recognize that car or whoever it was. Detectives interviewed that girlfriend, but it did not lead to any suspects. The remote road made it difficult to find witnesses, the sheriff explains. We have a couple witnesses who hear gunshots. One knows it's four, one says it's multiple, and then you have somebody that sees this suspicious vehicle that was sitting on the side of the road with a black male sitting outside of it. You have nothing else. Those witnesses led detectives to this composite, but still no one in custody. I do believe in my heart that someone all these years know who killed Eric. And no resolve for a heartbroken mother. Walker was a Seminole County school security guard, a father, and the youngest of four children. Eric was a very loving, very loving young man. Easy to get along with, easy to make friends. And she hopes someone who loved him will step up and inform deputies about his killer. If you know something, don't keep it in your heart. Do you believe in closure? Yes, it's going to be a closure. I don't know when, but it's going to be a closure. The Volusia County Sheriff's Office is offering a reward of up to $25,000 for information that leads to an arrest. Digging into Central Florida's True Crime Files, I'm Ray Vieta, Fox 35 News.